Hi, I'm Bee. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. Uh, last time we splashed a bee with a bunch of water. That's about it. I, I don't remember too much. I remember us getting drunk and, uh, you know, we had the t night of our lives getting drunk enough to, uh, black out. So, uh, let's just, you know, get to it. Alright, let's see. Oh. What just happened? Oh, okay. Let's see. Hey. Oh, sorry. Hey, I got sick from the mall food. It wasn't good mall food. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, that's my life right there. Morning. I'm working today. Angus is out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. No, okay. Let's, uh, let's go talk to Gregory. But first we talk to her, uh, let's talk to her mom. Good morning. Did you feel it last night? What? There was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth. And on a food plain. Oh, flood plain. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee you I won't. I've seen sinkholes. No interest at all? Mom, they're just holes in the ground. Get back to me when they- when one swallows a house or something. We'll go together- see together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Went to the mall with B. Oh, Fort Lucien? Yeah. I haven't been there in years. How is it? Kinda of falling apart, man empty. Yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores now by interstate. For, you know, shoes and things. Well, Stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm-hmm. Bye, sweetie. Alright. You know, let's uh, let's go to the church. Oh, it's raining. What is up? Okay. Glad to be ignored. I uh I I'm used to that by now by these uh by these construction workers. Let's go see the sinkhole. You know, may not be interested, but I definitely am. And, you know, I want to see a big hole in the ground. I love big holes. Alright, let's see up here. Hello, church. Let's, uh, let's go in. Wow, this place is, uh, really empty. Okay. I mean, as expected. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. <laughs> hey, sweetie. I completely forgot where the sanctuary is. Um, you passed the door on your way here. Oh, I thought those were locked. They're locked sometimes. All doors are locked sometimes. Not like saloon doors. That boy's just walking in and out. That's very rude. The old west was a very rude time. Howdy, partner. I say, I say, this powerful rude. That's like a southern gentleman. He's clashing up the place. Hmm. <laughs> Dark. Okay, I can't go that way. Tarnation. Okay, mom, no more cowboy talk for you. Daggummit. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Stairs. My greatest enemy. Oh, I can walk in here. What is up, nerd bird? Hello. Hello! You're a candy starter, right? Yep, who are you? Kate, but most people call me Pasta K. You're new here, right? 16 months? Something like that. Oh, new to me, uh, me at least. Hello. 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 Do me a favor. Take that last hello and give it to Bruce. Bruce? Bruce lives across the street. In the woods? For now, at least. You want me to go talk to a strange man in the woods? Bruce isn't strange. He's my friend. And he's part of this community. Okie dokie. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. You too. Alright, let's talk to the strange man across the room. 
Or uh, across the woods. Bing, bing, bop. All right. Let's go to the woods. We're gonna spend a night there in the woods. Night in the woods. Am I right? Uh, is it this way? Whose car is this? Wait, can I get up? Probably not. Alright, Bruce. Are you a statue? Bingo. Where is this strange man? Cops! Oh, okay. So you're more of a drifter? Yeah, but it's temporary. Of course, well, we just wanted to see uh, if you're okay up here. Yeah, Pastor Kate's been very kind. Mind if we, uh, <clears throat> mind if we see our setup up here? What do you, th what do you think, Molly? Uh, uh, it's fine. Aha, <laughs> all right, Bruce. Yeah. How are you finding Possum Springs? Nice place, nice people. How long have you been in town, Bruce? I've been here for a while now, and I was here before back in the 70s. They are looking for miners. Huh? At least for a while. Got a whole thing going here, Bruce. Yep. Pretty impressive. Uh, thanks. Well, we sure, we sure appreciate you talking to us, Bruce. That was really great to meet you. Yep, likewise. Alright, troops, let's move out. Oh, bye. Thanks again, Bruce. Let's gonna ransack this guy's house. Rawr. Thanks, Bruce. No trouble. Hey, Bruce. Hello, I'm May Borowski. Uh, friend of Pastor Kate? Hey, I'm Bruce. I don't say much. That's fine. I talk a lot. But I can, like, not. <laughs> Bruce. What's over here? I just wanted to climb the water tower, but then that one kid died doing that. Whatever. I'll get to it. Probably see clear the brittle from over here. Alright. Cool, this is a- wait, oh, there's a lot of writing on the ground. And the only thing I could read there was 6-9. I'm, uh, I'm glad my reading comprehension's going great. I'm sure I go over there at some point. Let's go talk the... Greg, sorry. Man, that's a large graveyard. I'm gonna end up over there. We all right, Gregory. Where are you at? Actually, hold on. Wait, no, I can't go in here. Where's B? You in here? No, you're in here. The old pickaxe. Let's talk to B first. Hey, BB. Hey, man. How's it going? Got a load of rock salt to move. Came in early this year. It looks like a crap load of show snubbles. Usually the distro place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards? Yeah, that's not a bad theory. So what's up? Wanna hang out tonight? Uh, I'm working. If you wanna like, come along. Oh, I was thinking we'd go play a putt-putt in the, the Hunwick. May, that's actually not a bad idea. But sorry, gotta work. Ah, oh, jeez, what's even the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing. So do you want to come along or not? Uh, I got a lot to do today. Okay. Gregory's lonely. And besides, she has work. This is Agnes's place, or Angus's place. Why is your heart broken? Music? Okay, sure. 
Uh, goodbye possibilities. I want to see under here. Oh. I want to see under here. Look at these rascals. I don't think anything's changed since the last time I've been here. Yeah, no. Okay. Let's uh, let's just go back. These uh, lousy kids. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's talk to Greg. Hey, hey, May May. Totally, what's up, dude? I was thinking about going to jail. Like you're planning on going, or like you're afraid of going? I think I could break out. Maybe I should like, test my skills of escape. I feel like the risk is bigger than any possible reward. Yeah, what brought this up? Had a nightmare about going to jail. My cousin went to jail. My other cousin, Jin, said it was inevitable. Aw oh, man, you're not inevitable. I mean, it's not inevitable. No, go back. I am definitely inevitable. The inevitable Greg. Is Angus around today? Nah, he's off doing some stuff. What stuff? Eh, family stuff. They're not worth talking about. Yeesh. You wanna hang out? Hmm. We hung out with B yesterday. Let's hang out with uh, you, Greg. Mechanics? Oh yeah. Greg, if I regret this, I'm never going with you again. The bullet went clean through. You can still see the bullet hole in it. How did that not kill him? It must have missed all the important parts of the brain. Wow. Yeah, great great granddad was pretty tough. But it is, isn't is that the family that had the fascists were wearing? Ah, uh, no, wrong war. And wrong country. These weren't the bad guys. Read some history. Jeez, okay. When did you learn all this stuff? When people kept saying it was a fascist hat. So what are we doing? You up for a crime? Boy, am I ever. I mean, I kinda did some last night. Oh really? Without me? Aw, oh, dude. You're always my number one crime friend. That's beautiful, dude. Likewise. So what's the plan? Follow me. Yes, dear leader. I am both a leader and a deer. Okay, Greg. Calm down, buddy. Rain sure cleared up. Weather moves for us. So what did I need the bat for? Ta-da! Ooh la la. F that car up, Private Borowski. So... You brought me out here to watch me beat up a car? Is this like that thing where people are all hot for car crashes? No, and I don't know that movie. Look it up. Eh. So we need the battery out of this car. What for? That's privileged info, Private. Stop calling me Private. I'm a general at least. No, I'm the general. I got a hat. War is stupid. Watch it. War got me this hat. Okay, but what if someone needs this car? I think it's safe to say no one's gonna miss it. Yeah, I guess it's got a tree growing through it. Uh, so we're just beating it until the hood pops open? Yeah, just smash it up. Smash it all up. Smash capitalism. Smash the government. Smash this car. Yeah. All right. Oops. Rah. Yeah, destroy the fascist car. Onward, revolution. Yeah. Time has come, car. Say your prayers, car. Ah, open. Ghost tiger vampires rise from the moon. Blood, give me blood. The final blow. Excellent work. Thank you, I agree. You want to do the honors? Am I going to get electrocuted? Should be fine. The car's got a tree growing through it. Probably not electric anymore. Wait, but... Do you want to, or not? I do. Oh yeah. Okay, so just grab one of the wires and yank it off. Thanks, I can. I think I can figure it out. Gotta get rid of these leaves first. <laughs> What's my key? Got it. Ah. Oh. Yeah! Whoa! Am I dead? 
Did I just die? <laughs> Sharko! Hey Sharko. What are you doing here? You always You've always been a good friend, May. We've been so much together, May. You've always been a good friend. Every day you'd visit me. You'd remember to click me just to say hello. Yes, I'm an excellent friend. Sharko, am I dead? Yes! Are you here to take me to the other side? Yes, as in the old legends. Your soul has been weighed against your transgressions. Oh, how did that turn out? Uh, could have gone better. Aw, oh, frig. I'm sorry, but it's off the hell for you. Dang. May Borowski, I declare thee dang. Oh well. You're in good company. Lots of folks been danged. I regret nothing. <laughs> what? Ha ha ha. Dude. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god, I forgot how to do Greg's voice. Ugh. Oh shit. You okay? I think I died. How long was I out? Like, five seconds? Oh, weird. Time, like, stretches. It's a mysterious universe. We good to go with the battery? You know it. Let's get back to the apartment. I say it's pennies. And anyway, even if it was a fascist helmet, it's got an anarchy symbol on it now, which makes it good. And there's a bullet hole in it. So, whoever was wearing it is dead. And I'm like, wearing the trophy. So you admit that it's a fascist helmet. No. I don't. Okay, okay. So what are we doing? Okay, so... Wait, question. Shoot. What the hell is that? The thing? Yes, yeah, obviously the thing. Remember those big, like, robot cartoon characters? They used to have at the food donkey? I do. Oh my god. Is that one of them? Are we gonna put one together? Dude, we totally are. This is amazing. Where the hell do you get it? You know Steve Scriggins? The guy who locked that substitute teacher in the supply closet? The guy who drove little circles around people? Hmm. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Dude, he was stuck in there over the longest night break. What? Survive by eating glue in Spanish workbooks. Steve Scriggins gave this to you? Yeah, that guy. He's horrible, man. But he's been hanging out at the food donkey since it's been shut down, and he dug it out for me. That is the first useful thing Steve has ever done. Okay, 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 what do we do? We need to get this old battery into that old thing. Okay, well this sounds straightforward enough. Kinda, it's full of cat garbage. It's too bad you didn't cut yourself on it and get a disease. It's too bad you didn't die on the way here. It's too bad the robot wasn't filled with angry snakes, and they killed you. It's too bad the elevator didn't fall, and squash you like a pancake. Oh, dude, that- no, that's a phobia. That's one that makes sense, at least. What are we doing again? Oof, this thing smells. That's just how old machines smell. No, like, I think something was living in here. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you stop being so negative? Why don't you eat your own neck? That's impossible. Be serious. This is serious business. Oh, well. Well, don't mind me. See, I've already died once tonight. No big deal or anything. What was it like? I can chase my tooth through fillings, and it's like they're ringing. Ringing? Like little bells inside my skull. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Clamp it. I'm gonna die. Never mind. Jeez, that looks safe. Are you gonna be all boring now? Just because you died for like a whole five seconds? Dude, come on. Some people have been dead like forever. Do you see them whining? Um, right. They either shut up and deal or they become ghosts. Are you saying that I should become a ghost? Yeah, carpe diem. Carpe diem. Oh look who's all fancy in French now. Okay, fine, what are we doing? That's the best part. We're gonna put this piece together. Do you know how it goes together? Gonna find out. Cool. May? Sorry. Cool! Awoo! Awoo! 
I'm never saying a boo in my life ever again. Where are the parts? Well, it's so many possible combinations. We can create our own unique metal offspring. So we just clink these together? Yeah, slot them together. Tighten some screws. What could go wrong? I mean, quite a lot. Lots of times stuff goes wrong. Dude, you are no fun. I literally just died. Alright. Get you. Get you. Get you. Boom. Let's give you some arms. Never mind. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's give you another arm. Nope. Not that in. I don't hold this. Never mind. Uh I don't want this, but I want this. Yes. You're gonna be a drunk chef. Oh yeah. <laughs> this sucks. Okay, let's put this back. Let's grab a... Let's untie this. Okay, I know what I want to do now. Put this over back. Just go all the way over here so I can grab this one part. Get you. Never mind, can't connect that. Uh, do I do this? And then can I do this? Yes, okay, cool. I'm making myself a little friend for uh, Gregory so I can hang out with B more. Is this a hand? Or is this a foot? I think that's supposed to be a foot. Okay. Oh yeah. We're building our own Five Nights at Freddy's character. Aha! Okay, cool. I wish this wasn't like slow. Like this uh, cursor. I mean, this music kind of bangs. I'm putting the, the utmost care in this. As you can tell. Alright, I'm almost finished, I think. Can I put a thing on top of you? Ah. Okay, you're a, you're a drunk chef. That's your... Uh, that's you. I'm gonna replace your head with a can. Can I do this? That'd be so awesome if I could. No. <laughs> okay. I'll give you an actual head, I guess. Unless you can carry- nope, okay. I'm not gonna get too great about Alright, Gregory, you have a friend now. He's beautiful. He's perfect. Our beautiful boy. Our robot son. So, like, this is pretty great and all, but remind me, why did we just put a bunch of garbage together in your living room and connect it to a stolen car battery that's already leaking acid on the carpet, I think? I don't know. Since you've been back in town, I think I missed Greg of a few years ago. Hmm? Like these days, I mostly work all the time, but why are you working so much? We got plans. What plans? Bright Harbor. Bright Harbor? Since when? Uh, a year or so now? That's why we're working like seven days a week. But when are you moving? I think in the spring? That's like a few months away. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should come visit when we get settled in. Isn't Bright Harbor like really expensive? Not if you live in a terrible neighborhood. Oh May, it's so cool. We visited in the summer, there's like record stores and weird bars, and everyone's cool and like, free? Oh. That's where I got my tattoo. What? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Is that a sheep? Yep. Why a sheep? The tattoo guy was like, all the way hot, and it didn't even hurt. You have a tattoo. You're moving to Bright Harbor. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Alright, anyway. Yeah, like I was saying, now that you're back in Possum Springs, I was like, hey, let's do some crimes again. Aw, oh, dude. Yep. So I was thinking about how to use that for, like, good. So I thought I'd bring this here for Angus. That's beautiful, dude. I'm sure he'll love it. I hope so. Okay, so... Yeah, all we need to do now is turn it on. Oh, oh, I want to push a button. Let me, let me push a button. Let me, let me do it. Dude, 
It's the least I could do. For my best friend, back from the dead. Pizza party next time I die and come back. Dude, that is such a deal. Sweet. Oh god. This site smells even worse. Hope whatever was living here in this hole. Okay, I think I see it. Push it, push it, push it. Hey, I'm glad you and Angus have this whole, like, life together. Thanks, dude. We've worked hard. That's sweet. Push it, push it, push it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! Whoa! It lives! What the? I. Wow! Hey, Angus. How's it going, man? Good. I didn't die this time. You? Good, good. I'm just gonna lay here for a while if that's okay. Okay. I freaking died tonight. Greg rules. Hey, Dad. Hey, let's work. You know, better than a glass factory, is it? I've mined, I've ran machines, now I get to slice steaks and hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But, like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go, uh, to my room. I do kind of regret not hanging out with B tonight, but, you know. We got to build Greg a robot. Let's talk. Mm. Hey, May, you awake? Sure am. What's up? Nothing. Watching TV. What are you watching? It's a true crime show. Is it any good? No, the reenactments are terrible. But if they were good, I'd like actually feel bad for them. As it stands, it's just bad local commercial actors pretending to murder or be murdered. I love those shows. They're the best. Mark Greg. Hey, punk. Are you still electric? No, I think it's gone now. Hold on, let me touch something metal. Okay, I touched my futon frame and we're good. Good work, Dr. Science. Does Angus like the robot? I think so. He's just kind of looking at it. Hold on, I'll ask him. Okay, he says to say thank you. So I think that means he likes it. Alright, dude, I'm turning in. Me too. See you later. Alright. Hey, May, are you alright? I was afraid you were really hurt. You left so quickly. I'm good, big guy. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Oh, I appreciate it. Try not to almost die anymore tonight. No promises. All right, Sharky. What what's uh, what's up with you? <laughs> okay, let's go to sleep. Oops, did not mean to get back on the chatterbox. The time. Yeah. Good night, man. Oh boy, what is this? Where are we now? This place is terrifying. Lights. Okay. Oh. Oh, let's uh, let's go this way. We. Uh oh. Oh. Balancing. Alright, let's go. Light. This thing. Cool. Oh, yeah. This music is crazy. Alright, how does one get down there? I, I, I'm assuming I have to you know, fall off this uh, edge here. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Down here. There's a there's a light down there. How do I get down there? Oh probably this way. Hmm. Man, this music. Every time I play this game, I guess about like some sort of aspect. The music, the uh, the art, it's so good. I, I really gotta hang out with uh, B again. I don't know why that reminded me of it, but I really, I just, I have to. It's like, oh shoot. Okay, I didn't even notice we were going on water. Yes. There's a, there's a glowing thing up here. Does I have to go up? Oops. Why is the music so good? Right here. Just gotta find out how to get up there. Ah, this way. Guess we just go back. Oh yeah. Oh. What the? Big squirrel! Why is it so large? It's eating me! Never mind. Oh wow. And uh, Maid's dead. Well I hope you guys like this video. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright. We should have probably done a little bit more, I think. I don't know, I feel like 30 minutes is a really short time to be doing, like, all of that. Wake up, man. We have much more to do. Let's check the internet. We love the internet. Okay, let's see who's talking. Greg? Update, the robot smells a little weird. Not sure what we missed there. Anyway. Hey, boyo. At work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap talking. More like it. Hey, I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello, I'm here to be helloed at. That, that's going to be my new voice for B. It's just going to be a slight alteration of my voice. So I don't have to be like this. And like, do the roar. You know? Alright, mom, where are you at? <sighs> yeah. Morning. Or, sorry. Morning, long night. Yep. Remember those big robot things from the food donkey? Hmm, you were scared of those. Cried your little eyes out. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Hmm, hmm. I don't remember this at all. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, just doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Huh? Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm hmm Have a nice day. I think she's stressed. And if she's stressed, then we should bless this mess. If the stress is not blessed, then what's the point? I wish we could, like, hop on the back of these cars. That'd be awesome. Let's climb the power lines. Let's get electrocuted again. Oh, don't get hit by a car. Okay. What's up? You're gonna make my dog anxious, and she poops a lot when she's anxious. Okay. That's none of my business. Let's fight these squirrels. Ah. Uh, yeah, go away, squirrel. What the? There's a guy stargazing? Not on my watch. Okay, maybe on my watch. I'll get you someday, man. What is this? 
Mm, don't think I've ever read this plaque before. Arnold A. Applebaum, a fa father to all workers, a grandfather to their children, a great grandfather to those children's children. It keeps going like that for a while. Erected in 1910. So true. Okay, I'm going back to the stargazing guy. Can't be gazing on my watch. Oh shoot. Maybe he can. Should I spend a lot of time on this? Let's see. One, two, one. Wait, hold on. Sorry, one, two, three. There we go. Come on, Mr. Stargazer. What are you doing? May Baroska, you could have knocked on the door down there. Implant me on other people's roofs. Next time I'm gonna call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad you accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting dusk stars. What's the dusk stars? Wandering stars, the light of which do not come at night. How does that work? It's a trick of the atmosphere in setting sunlight. Only visible for a few weeks every year in the spring and fall. So lovely. Neato. Wanna have a look? Sure. Excellent. Let's look at the dusk stars. Holy crap, my eyes! Oh, you wanna put that filter on like so? Jeez! The sun is bright, make you blind. You don't think to mention this? I just did. Wow. Look at these dusk stars. <laughs> I like that sound. This is very cool. Hmm, I can't figure this out. Sure, I'll try again. Is this one? Hmm, I can't figure this out. I give up. I don't know what I'm looking for. I give up. You give up too easily, Mabaroski. Whatever, man. I'm going to talk to Bia. I'm going to talk to my good old pal. More of a friend than you'll ever be, Mr. Stargazer. Using the telescope. Actually, I don't think we should... Now, I'll talk to you for a second, but I'm gonna check on other stuff in the town. Hey, man. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuc uh, uh, unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid Harvest or Harfest play tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm, like, super tired because everything about my life is exhausting, and I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner, even though I'm one employee and I do not own this store. Oh weird, I thought for some reason you own this place now. You'd think. But also no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin, using materials and tools from this store, and bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that got intense. Ah. Anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So, are we doing this? Not sure you got a couple socks to me. Alright, B. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you in a second. I gotta talk to Greg. And I also gotta, like... Do other stuff. Is it Angus here? Finally. Angus! Okay, Greg's not gonna be lonely tonight. Hey, man. Hey, Angus. How's video land? Good, good. Started the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What? A horror movie? Yeah. Hmm. Scythe Sabbath. Oh, Italian. Yeah, they don't mess around. Pretty colors. Pretty everything. Well, see you later. Bye. Oh yeah. Alright. Let's talk to Greg. Hey, Greg. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa, what's up with you? I want to do something. Okay, well. Drink, like, all the coffee or you haven't yet that experience or something? 
This shop is one long near-death experience. So, dude, 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 dude. You wanna go to something, something, something? Uh, I can't today, dude. Yeah, I can't today. Ah, man. It's cool. Alright. I wanna see over here. Oh, yeah. Generation fiasco. I right, see you, Greg. I'm gonna talk to B. Or, like, actually do other stuff around town real quick. I thought that cat was, like, sliding. When can we do more band practice? I wanna- I wanna- I wanna try my skills at banding. Ooh, the donkey. That's closed. Is there a sign? Hey, what's up with you? Hey, germ. Hey! Wanna hang out? I don't know, supposed to hang out with Gregor B tonight. Jeez, I'm not asking you to run away and get married. No. Okay, bye. Bye. I don't want to hang out with Germ. His name is literally Germ. I have not seen this section of the game yet. Oh, that's probably why. This place is really nice looking. God, I hate gushing about this game, but it's so good. Oh. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll do another playthrough. That's, that's not a guarantee. That's a probably, probably not actually. That's besides the point. Let's, uh, let's go talk to my good old friend B. I mean, the inferior B, but you know, B nonetheless. I love jumping. I love jumping in video games. It's so fun. Bop, 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 bop. All right, pickaxe. Hey, B. Actually, I want to talk to you first. Who are you? Hey, dude. Hello. How's working here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. Okay, let's hang out. So are we doing this? Let's hang out. Hi, B. Hi, May. Hi, Germ. Hey, dude. <laughs> Germ is helping me move stuff for under the table cash. Well... I'm knocking off work early to go pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. I literally said I wasn't hanging out with you, Germ. Go away. Ready to go? Got a lot of hammers. Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails. Alright then. He's like something out of a children's book. About what uh, about whatever the hell he is. Dinner at bees. This place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kinda. Food. You know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. Donkey. You, <laughs> you sure showed Ham Panther corporate who's boss. Actually, did you know that our senator's on the Ham Panther board or something? You know you're zero fun, right? I do know that, yes. Okay, I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were gonna hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing that big shop tonight. Let me pick out what we have. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. Wait, you're serious? Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need, like, a main corpse and two sides? What well, counts as a main course? We can stop back at the meat section once you picked out whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're not on a budget, man. Okay, okay, okay. You hang out and I'll be right back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, Dad's sensitive to broccoli. Oh, also, no shop like this in the sun. Aw. I can afford a few groceries, man. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. Let's go shopping. What is this? Green beans... Tash or uh, beetroot? What's Tash? I'm curious. Scottish Thuckatath. No. Green beans or beetroot? Cream of chicken soup. That is. Oh, I guess that is a chicken. Nah. Green beans. Greeny beanies. Nah. Nah. Let's go. We can do so much better. Like instant mashed potatoes. 
mac and cheese, tasty taters. Ooh, taters. Nah, mashies. Mashed potatoes. Yes. Mmm, boy, delicious. Cool sides. <gasps> Quick biscuits. Cream greens. Those are... That's broccoli. Mmm, biscuits. Yes. Ooh la la. Mmm, should I get bakey shaky? That goes well with me. Sure. I have like the food taste of a child. This is probably stuff I would get in real life. Alright, let's get some uh, chicken. Sure. Delish. Alright. My dad works at the deli. We could go there for the meats. Okay. Oh yeah. Ahoy there, ladies! Hey, Dad! Hey, B, long time no see. How are you, Mr. Broski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. Meat friends, just you? Oh, not always, but tonight, yeah. Worst places on earth to be. True. Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armand said. Looks like he owns his job to say hello to people. Yep, called a greeter. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Alternatives? Not working. Oh. So what are you lovely ladies doing here tonight? Just grabbing something for dinner. How's your dad? Alright. What can I get for you ladies? Chicken, ground beef, one of your best fishes, or pork chops. Oh no, I'm a cat. Bee's an alligator. I think it makes sense if we got fish. Whatever's good. Dinner for three people. Not too pricey. Can do. Hmm, do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? Yes. B, you should come by for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, may. I'll grill us something nice. We can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's get our meats. Coming right up. Why are you smoking in the sewer? Alright, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright ladies, let's see what you all got. Mm-hmm, yes, okay. Well that's... Interesting. Interesting. Maybe I'm just behind the times. Good luck. Alright, thanks Mr. Broski. Tell your dad I said hello. See you later, dad. Night, ladies. I got the best meal, you shut up. That was fun. Yep. Groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. Shopping is fun. Woohoo. Oh yeah. Smoking at home. Dinner time. Let's make food. Um. Yeah. What? Do you want me to order a pizza? Nah, I got sandwich stuff. Alright. Alright. Oh, did I ruin dinner? Yep. But we live, I think. Ha ha ha. I don't think the fish worked out. I thought, hey, fish is okay. Bakey shaky is good. Did you like it? No, I agree. It is very terrible. Man. So yeah, we're all paid up until the 15th next month. No, alright. That rock so sourcing? Yeah, should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Okay, uh, I need you to sign some things. Left them on the bar. I think I might just get to them. Please do. We have the pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but... I don't, Beatrice. Whose name is on a deed? Yours, Dad. Oh, I mixed up the... Who is this? Whose name's on the checks? Yours. Uh, dinner ain't gonna set well. Smelter's playing tonight. We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah. You guys have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, man. Yep. Man. I feel terrible. How do I get up? Smelter's, huh? You a fan? I like hockey. Hockey? Psh. 
But it's nothing like the, the hockey. Bunch of men prancing around on us ice skates and beating the living crap out of each other. Eh, can't get excited about a puck. But, but it's like expected that someone's going to be bleeding by the end. No sportsmanship in it. How is what I described not sportsmanship? Eh. Okay, whatever, dude. You're boring. Let's, let's go talk to B. My main girl. Did you guys just move in? Hmm. Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? A uh, pretty cool record player. As far as record players go, it was my mom's. I don't have any records. I don't get records. My mom was into them. Haha, uh, they were retro when she was at my age. They're retro now. That's how retro works. So I've got a question. Mm -hmm. What exactly does your dad do at the store? These days, not much. Uh, some administrative stuff. He hires the repair guys. He sometimes goes out on jobs. That's kind of his whole area. That's about it. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and, working there every day too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. I just think you're selling yourself out. I'm sorry, what? Like, you not doing anything about it before it just reinforces... Is this really the road you want to go down with this? I think it's not the right they just roll over a ticket. Saying you should stand up for yourself. Uh, I'm saying you should stand up for yourself or just like, quit. Quit? Really? Just quit? You are seriously detached from reality. You're doing all this work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, good to hell. What? You heard me. What is your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek, the repair guy at the shop? No. You've seen him. Talks a lot. Worked for us since forever. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. My dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. I don't follow. He's a creep, man. And you know what? He still works for us. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything, and Chris got a family and he needs to work. That's disgusting. It's not your responsibility to- I know! Don't you think I know that? I'm just saying, if you keep letting these dudes off the hook- Off the hook? Like, you're stronger than this, B. You're like, badass and shit. Y you- Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I- You are such a shithead, you know that? What the hell? Oh, what the hell? A lot of- <laughs> A lot of these times people can't just choose to do whatever it is you decreed to be the right thing. A lot of times people do what they do because they can't survive- They can't do anything else. You always have a choice. Says the child woman with no job, no rent, no responsibilities, and no consequences for your stupid actions, I'm seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up, you want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who is both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time. You come, you want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your whole life way more stressful? That is not what I'm saying. Oh, what are you saying then? I don't know anymore. Like, Greg is probably off doing God knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know what I should do. And what you're the last person- You're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. You're just like the other night, but all the time. Running around, messing with people, and taking whatever you want. While the whole mall's falling apart around you. I thought you had a good time. I should go. You should go. Oh my god. No, I shouldn't go. Okay, I should go. Horrible fish. Okay, dude. 
Greg, where are you? Let's talk. Oh, I teleport. What the? Okay. How did I mess it up? I wanted to help. I am garbage. Football. Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. I was socializing. Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. I was surprised seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I had, hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been out uh, back long, and you're not usually lurking at the Ham Panther. Who's to say I'm not? Well, it's nice seeing you anyways. Lurk a lurk. Alright. You still doing taxes? No. <sighs> Let's see, is there anything up here? Yeah, Dad to put him in here, I bet. Dad should move him. It's only fair. Okay, I guess I'm never gonna get that. Dad, can you move the things? Can I talk to you again? Any idea what's up with Mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. Haha, uh -huh, well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spent a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh no, you'll have that too. Hmm. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. Let's talk to you more. Hey, Dad, would you mind moving the boxes in the crawl space? Well, what have you done for me lately? Uh... I've been a credit to this family. That doesn't count. Well, would you watch some TV with me? Yeah, sure. Hold up. I'm watching Garbo and Malui. Nice. Garbo and Malui. And we're back. Great crowd in here tonight. We never leave for too long, folks. Say, Garbo. Yeah, Malui. Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Most of them, anyway. No, I mean those old nights, those good nights. Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. These days are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are. Around the midsection. That's a whopper. This show sucks. Malui, or Malui, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malui? I'm what you call body shameless. Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. <laughs> okay. Can you move the boxes now? Please, can you please move the boxes? Good night, Dad. <laughs> Let's see if the box is magically teleported. No! Yeah, Dad put him here. Dad should move him. It's only fair. Okay. I don't think I don't think I got a message from B. I'm not gonna lie. That is uh, something I don't see happening. No way. Let's talk. To, let's see, Gregory. Hey, kid. Hey, oh. What you up to? Nothing. Kind of bummed tonight. Oh, why? No reason. Just happens. Must be going around. I just got into a fight with B. Oh no, about what? I don't even know. I just think I'm an asshole. You and me both. The asshole twins. We can get matching jackets with that on the back. Varsity jackets with giant asshole patches on the sleeves. Ha. <laughs> Alright, dude. I'm catching up for the day. See ya, duder. Alright, B. Hey, B. You there? Yep. I don't really know how I screwed that up, but I'm sorry. It's fine. Going to sleep. See you later. Okay. Damn. Well, uh... Damn! <laughs> I, uh... I, I guess, uh... I, I guess I messed things up with B. If you like this video, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all those YouTuber things, and uh, I hope you enjoy the new outro. Have a good one.